What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Finally, the YouTube silver button is here. And in this video, we're gonna unbox this uh, silver button and I will be answering a few questions that you have asked me on the community post that I uh, posted probably about a couple of days ago. Uh, there are a few uh, interesting questions that you guys have asked me and I will be answering all those questions. So this video is gonna be interesting, keep watching. But the first thing we're gonna do is unbox the YouTube Play silver button. Here we go, the packaging is very simple. It has got YouTube mentioned on it and uh, we just have these seals. These are more of cello tape we have. Let me just cut this open. And we also have some tapes here. All right, now looks like this is where it's gonna come out from. Okay, that's it. We've got the soft sponge here. Then here we have got a card which says, congratulations on your subscriber milestone. We are honored to take part in recognizing your achievement and uh, want your experience to be exceptional. Uh, this award was inspected and packaged with great care by Rick. Thanks Rick for doing that. Uh, it says if your award was damaged during shipping or if you have any questions, please contact. Now this is what this card says. And here is a letter from YouTube uh, congratulating the channel for this milestone. Uh, probably I will not read the whole thing here. Let me just keep this aside. And here it is. We have got this beautiful looking uh, silver button here. Let me just open this pack. We do have something here. Yes, we know there is nothing here. And uh, we have got this uh, to hang this silver button on the wall. Now this looks nice. It says presented to AppX for passing 100k subscribers. Let me just throw this uh, thing aside. Now the button looks really cool. Uh, I think this is a fingerprint magnet, uh, but it looks pretty cool. And this is what we have. This is a silver button for reaching 100k subscribers. Thanks to YouTube for sending this out. Now for me, that was the coolest unboxing that I ever did on the channel. And that unboxing was possible because of your support, because the way you have been supporting me on the channel since day one. I still get comments from some of you guys who were a part of the channel when I just had less than 1000 subscribers or probably around 10 to 15,000 subscribers. Uh, there are so many of you guys who are still commenting on all my videos, still encouraging me to come up with good contents. You guys have really kept me motivated and that is why I'm here today uh, doing this unboxing of uh, YouTube silver button and a very long way ahead to get the golden button uh, after 1 million subscribers. Uh, I would expect the same support from you guys uh, going forward as well. Now it's time I answer some of your questions. Uh, there are some very interesting questions I've got uh, which I will be answering in this video. So let's go ahead. The first interesting question is am I a Samsung employee and uh, what do I do apart from uh, doing these videos or uh, running this YouTube channel? Now to answer this question, no I'm not a Samsung employee. Uh, I work with a private real estate firm. Uh, I'm a sales manager. I'm into sales and marketing. And I started this YouTube channel as a hobby initially. Uh, and uh, this was started uh, about three to four years ago during COVID lockdown. A lot of us were working from home uh, and even I did. And uh, I had a lot of time to do something about it uh, to utilize the free time. That is when I started this channel. And I have always been interested in gadgets, phones, and I used to follow, follow a lot of YouTubers. And I really wanted to be one of them and wanted to create some uh, useful contents for you guys. That is when I thought I will start a YouTube channel. The next question is, how did I start this YouTube channel? Now, like I said, during COVID lockdown, I had a lot of time. That is when I started. Uh, I had a Samsung Galaxy Note 9 and I thought I'll start my channel using that phone. But initially I started doing some uh, videos which were not related to Samsung Galaxy phones, some tech news related videos, uh, some tips and tricks for Samsung internet and few other applications. That is how I started uh, this channel. And uh, then I bought a Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and uh, I started filming the Watch Active 2. I started reviewing it. I started sharing the features of that watch. And that is when I uh, thought I should uh, make some videos on the phone as well. Uh, initially, I was giving away some watch faces, if you guys remember. I'm not sure how many of you guys were uh, from those days where I used to uh, give away watch faces. I used to tie up with the developers of watch faces and give away free coupons for you guys. Uh, that is how the channel started. And then I started focusing on some Android applications, uh, the, uh, the Galaxy phone itself, since I had a Galaxy Note 9. I started shooting this on a basic DSLR camera that I had. I had a Canon uh, DSLR camera uh, and I just had a Galaxy watch and a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. That is how uh, all this started. And that is the time when uh, the One UI also started booming. Uh, a, lot of, uh, a lot of users were interested in the features of One UI. And One UI really started evolving on uh, the Galaxy phones and that is when the journey began. Now the next question is, uh, the key secret of uh, your journey so far, 
uh, from your experience, like how you keep yourself motivated? Did you enjoy the process so far? Uh, absolutely, I enjoyed the process so far uh, since the day I started this channel and uh, till today, uh, I almost posted uh, one video every day, I would say. Uh, I might have skipped a few days, but I did post a video each day and I really enjoy creating these contents for you guys. It's not just that I know I want to create it for the sake of it or just to grow this channel. I really enjoy it. I love creating these contents. And I would say that is the key secret for any successful journey. Uh, if you're interested in doing something and if you want to do what you love, then definitely you will succeed. And that's what I did. I love creating these contents and uh, I, you know, I don't get tired of doing this. And that is when uh, I have been able to post one video at least every day and grow this channel to 100K subscribers and a long way to go as well. The next question is, uh, what got you interested so much into Samsung phones uh, and what uh, features services do you like from Samsung devices or the other phones from different brands? And there is another question which goes like this, uh, what phones you were into before Samsung and uh, iPhone became the top manufacturers because Nokia and Blackberry thought uh, they couldn't be top. Now I have used different phones from different manufacturers. My first phone was of course Nokia and then I was using a Motorola and then came the LG. Then I had a Samsung phone, then I used iPhone and then I got back to Samsung when Samsung Galaxy Note 9 got launched. And that phone was a beast and it was kind of ahead of time during 2018 or 2019 if I'm not wrong. And Samsung revamped its UI. It came up with one UI which was the best thing which happened on Samsung Galaxy phone. And I would say that is when Samsung phones started picking up sales and uh, people started loving it uh, because uh, the operating system, the One UI skin or Android made a lot of difference for a lot of uh, people out there. And that is when I started using Samsung Galaxy phones. And when I got this phone, I never had any thoughts about starting a channel. But after using the phone for some time, uh, the COVID lockdown happened and that is when I started uh, this channel. Now, what features do I like from Samsung Galaxy phones? Uh, Samsung Galaxy phone is a package deal. You get loads of features which other OEMs uh, would never imagine creating. Uh, right from good luck to all the other customization features that we have got. Uh, Samsung is doing really a great job in terms of uh, features and I wouldn't say there is any specific features that I like. Uh, there are loads of features which I have already discussed on my channel and I like more or less all of them. Now the next question is about the studio setup. Uh, you want to know how uh, I have set up my studio. What do I use? Uh, do I use a camera? Do I use phone to film uh, the videos? Uh, so that is what I'm going to answer now. Uh, now I am staying in a 2BHK house where I have converted uh, one BHK, uh, one bedroom into a studio. Uh, it's a small room, about 12 by uh, 10 sort of a size. Uh, and I have got a couple of IKEA desks and a couple of monitors. One is a Lenovo monitor and the other one is a Samsung uh, monitor. And uh, then I have got some props around the room, uh, which, I, which you would have seen on the channel. I have got a transformer and a few other uh, miniatures of uh, the superheroes. And this beautiful shelf you see that was completely done uh, by my wife. Uh, she has been doing a lot of uh, things inside the studio to set up things and uh, that helped me a lot as well. And uh, video recording I do on the iPhone. I have an iPhone 14 Pro Max. A lot of my videos are recorded on iPhone. And recently I just bought a Sony camera. I have got a Sony Alpha C2, Sony Alpha 7 C2. Uh, that was just uh, bought about a couple of weeks ago and I have just started using that camera now. That's a full frame camera uh, which captures some beautiful colors. So uh, I always wanted to get a DSLR but uh, all this while the iPhone 14 Pro Max has been doing the job and uh, that's a fantastic phone as far as the videography is concerned. So that has helped me a lot lot to create all these contents. And the mic I use is a Rode Wireless uh, Go that you're seeing right here. I've got a receiver on the camera right now. Uh, so that is what I use for uh, the uh, audio recording. Basically, it's a very simple setup. It's a small room with a couple of monitors and a keyboard and a few props and this beautiful looking shelf. And I've got a couch in the room and I just use an ergonomic chair to sit and edit videos. And then the iPhone and the Sony Alpha uh, 7 C2 are the cameras that I'm using to film my videos. Next, how many phones do I have? Now, uh, I keep buying and selling phones. Uh, I don't keep all the phones, all the old phones with me. Uh, some of the old phones, like about three to four year old phones I exchange it for the new device. Uh, right now I have the Galaxy S24 Ultra, S23 Ultra and S22 Ultra. Then I have Pixel 6a, Pixel 7 Pro 
and uh, I also have a Z Fold 5 along with the Note 9 which I think I will never sell. I'm going to keep Note 9 forever I would say uh, because that is the phone uh, with which I started this whole channel and uh, this is where I am today and that phone is one of the reasons. So the Note 9 is going to stay with me forever. And in the next few months uh, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 will also get launched. I'm just thinking uh, whether I should keep the Z Fold 5 or not because uh, Z Fold 6 is going to be quite expensive and I really don't want to shell out so much of money so I might exchange uh, the Z Fold 5 to the Z Fold 6 and make some contents for you guys uh, with respect to the Z Fold 6. Now uh, I will also be buying the Galaxy watches and then uh, after a few months again I'll have to buy the Galaxy S24, S25 series. Uh, so it's an ongoing process. Uh, we have to keep buying these devices to uh, stay updated with all the new features, the new UI uh, and also the product related videos. So I will have to buy all of them. Now there was another question why don't I add mid-range phones and a few other Samsung products like tablets and laptops. I definitely have plans to add those products as well. In the past I did add a couple of mid-range phones but uh, uh, it is very difficult to just start generating views for a new phone, a new segment altogether. Uh, but in the long run, definitely I would uh, add these phones. And you guys have also been suggesting me to add a few other uh, OEMs phones. Uh, even that is in the works. I will be adding a few other brands as well. But when I add new models or new phones, uh, to grow viewership for those products it's going to take a long long time and that is what is stopping me at the moment but in the long run when I have more subscribers and when the channel keeps growing I will be adding more products uh, more Samsung products as well as other OEMs products to compare with Samsung products so you'll see a lot more uh, interesting products in the future for sure. The next question is what do you think about Samsung ecosystem? Do you think it is as better as the Apple's? Now I would say Samsung's ecosystem is as good as Apple's. Uh, now we have got all the products. We have got the Galaxy Watch, we have got Galaxy Buds, we have got tablets. We even have laptops now. That was something which was missing a few years ago but now we have got the Samsung laptops as well. Samsung's ecosystem is pretty good. Uh, there is seamless interaction uh, among these uh, products and uh, it's very easy to use. And at the moment I do not have all the products but definitely once I add them I'm going to make some videos about the entire ecosystem as well so stay tuned for those videos. Now the next interesting question is how much money do I make? Now that is something which I'm going to share in a separate video. Now that takes some time to explain uh, the kind of uh, you know uh, money that we make on YouTube. I will make a dedicated video about uh, how much a YouTuber can make with 100k subscribers and a specific number of views. So that will help you understand in case if you are also planning to become a YouTuber uh, that would definitely help you know how much uh, one can make. Uh, on YouTube. So I will post that video very soon. So do let me know in the comment section whether you want that video or not. Drop a comment. Now the last question is what is my next aim for the channel? Now like I already discussed uh, I will be adding many more products on the channel. You will see Samsung products as well as a few other uh, manufacturers of the OEMs products. Uh, maybe I will add OnePlus, maybe I will add uh, iPhones. Uh, even though I did in the past I did not continue it but in the long run definitely I have those plans and I'll also focus on what I'm doing today. The features, the UI experiences and tips and tricks videos will continue on the channel as and when we grow and as and when I make more money with your help I will add more products. So uh, do support the channel uh, as always you did and thanks a lot to all of you guys uh, for making this happen. 100k is a big achievement for me at least at the moment but there's a long way to go. There is a long road ahead to get 1 million subscribers. I hope that happens soon. That's all I want to share with you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to hit that like button as well. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.